Hi, with me, Teacher Zhu. In this video, we are going to discuss more questions involving kinematics of linear motion from textbook KSSM Form 5, Formative Exercise 8.1. Okay, question number one. The mud deposited on the river beds makes the river that runs through a village shallow. This makes the boat traveling in and out difficult. A boat that moves along a jetty in a straight line with displacement S meter T seconds after passing the jetty is given by S equals to T squared minus 40. So S given T squared minus 40. Okay, A, copy and complete the table below. So we are going to find all the values of displacement for given uh, T. Okay, so first of all, when T equals to 1, S equals to 1 squared minus 4 times 1 equals to negative 3. When T equals to 2, S equals to 2 squared minus 4 times 2. This one equals to negative 4 meter. So when t equals to 3, s equals to 3 squared minus 4 times 3, which is equals to negative 3. Okay, when, a, when t equals to 4, s equals to 4 squared minus 4 times 4, which is equals to 0. And the last one, when t equals to 5, s equals to 5 squared minus 4 times 5 equals to 5 meter. Okay, so then we are going to put all these values into uh, the table. Okay, this one negative 3, negative 4, when T3, S is negative 3, this one 0, this one 5. B, sketch the displacement time graph to show the position of the board. Okay, so by using all these values, from the table, we are going to sketch the displacement time graph, okay? So then, first of all, we draw the axis, okay? A vertical axis and a horizontal axis, okay? Vertical is S, horizontal is T, okay? This one is, S is quadratic with minimum point because A equals to 1. So then, a smile curve, okay? So, smile with roots here when s equals to 0 okay when s equals to 0 t equals to 4 and t equals to 0 okay so sorry so like this okay so 0 and 4 okay so the minimum okay minimum displacement the smallest value s equals to negative 4 when t equals to 2 so this one 2, this one negative 4. And when uh, t equals to 5, this one 5. Okay, s is 5. Okay, so this is your displacement time graph. C, find the time in a second when the boat is at the jetty again. Okay, so at the jetty. Jetty is the origin. Okay, so the initial point. Okay, so... Uh, meaning that uh, here s equals to 0. Okay, so from the table, okay, you can see when x equals to 0, t equals to 4. Okay, so b, uh, sorry, c, uh, t equals to 4. Number 2, Shaza cycles her three-wheel bicycle in a straight line at her house backyard and has an initial displacement of 2 meters from a flower pot. Her displacement S meter T second after passing the flower pot is given by S equals to T cubed plus 2T plus C. Okay, so A determine the value of C. Okay, so A given S equals to T cubed plus to t plus c okay since of initial displacement if uh, given is two meter meaning that c equals to two okay b find the distance of shaza from the flower pot when t equals to two and t equals to three so b uh, now we substitute the value of c into s so s equals to t cube plus 2t plus 2. Okay, so when t equals to 2, s equals to 2 cube plus 2 times 2 plus 2. So, which is equals to 14. And when equal 14 meters, so when t equals to 3, s is 3 cube plus 2 times 3 plus 2. 
Okay, this one equals to 35 meter. Number 3, a particle moves along a straight line from a fixed point O. Its displacement as meter t seconds after passing through O is given by S equals to 3t squared plus 2t. Calculate the instantaneous displacement of the particle when t equals to 0 and t equals to 10. Okay, so given S equals to 3t squared plus 2t. So when t equals to 0 then s equals to 3 times 0 squared plus 2 times 0 which is equals to 0 meter and when t equals to 10 s equals to 3 times 10 squared plus 2 times 10 which is equals to 320 meter Number four, the diagram on the right shows a boy kicking a ball in a field. The ball moves in a straight line and passes through a fixed point mark P. At t seconds after passing point P, the velocity v meter per second of the ball is given by v equals to 70 minus 5. Find the instantaneous velocity in meter per second of the ball when t equals to 2 and t equals to Four. Okay, so now given V equals to 70 minus 5. Okay, so we are going to find instantaneous velocity. So when T equals to 2, then V will substitute 2 into V. So 7 times 2 minus 5 equals to 9 meter per second. And when T equals to 4, V equals to 7 times 4 minus 5 equals to 23 meter per second. Number 5, a particle moves along a straight line and passes through a fixed point O. Its acceleration, A meter per second squared at T second after passing through O is given by A equals to 4 minus 2T. A find the initial acceleration in meter per second squared of the particle. Okay, so uh, given A equals to 4 minus 2T, then question A, initial acceleration meaning that uh, t equals to 0. So, initial acceleration is t0 into a. So, a is 4 minus 2 times 0 which is equals to 4 meter per second squared. Okay, b determine the range of time. Uh, when the velocity of the particle decreasing. So, velocity decreasing meaning that uh, the uh, uh, accelerates okay the particle accelerates a less than zero okay a is four minus two t less than zero so four less than two t then t more than two uh, second Six, a particle moves along a straight line and passes through a fixed point O. Its displacement S meter at T seconds after passing through point O is given by S equals to 2T squared plus T. Calculate A, the displacement in meter of the particle when T equals to 3. Okay, so now given S equals to 2T squared plus T, then A, you are going to find S when T equals to 3. Okay, so we substitute 2 times 3 squared plus 3. So this one equals to 21 meter. B, uh, find the total distance in meter traveled by the particle in the first 5 seconds. Okay, to find the total distance, we are going to test uh, either the particle change direction or not. So V equals to 0. Okay, test V equals to 0. Okay, to find V, you have to differentiate. So, V is uh, V is dS dt. So, V equals to 4T plus 1. So, test equals to 0. Then, T equals to negative 1 over 4. Okay, meaning that um, the particle does not uh, change the direction. Okay, if this happens, we just substitute T equals to 0 into S. Um... Here, S is 2 times 0 squared plus 0, which is equals to 0. And T substitute T equals to um, 5. Okay, so S equals to 2 times 5 squared plus 5 equals to 55. Okay, so the total distance 
equals to uh, 55 minus 0 which is equals to 55 meter. 7. A particle moves along a straight line. At time t second after it starts moving, its displacement s meter from the fixed point O is given by s equals to uh, t minus 2 squared plus 5. Okay, so copy and complete the table below. Okay, so we are going to find uh, the displacement uh, for all these values of t. So when t equals to 0, s equals to 0 minus 2 squared plus 5. Okay, so this one equals to 9. When t equals to 1, s equals to 1 minus 2 squared plus 5 equals to 6. When t equals to 2, s is 2 minus 2 squared plus 5. This one equals to 5. When t equals to 3, s is 3 minus 2 squared plus 5. This one 6. When t equals to 4, s equals to 4 minus 2 squared plus 5. This one equals to 9. Okay, when t equals to 5, uh, s equals to 5 minus 2 squared. Okay, plus 5. This one equals to 14. And the last one, when t equals to 6, s equals to 6 minus 2 squared plus 5, which is equals to 21 meter. So, we put all these values into the table. Okay, so this one, 9, 6, 5, 6, 9, 14, 21. Question B, sketch the displacement time graph for t more equals than 0 but less or equals than 6. Okay, so now we are going to uh, sketch this graph. Okay, s equals to t minus 2 squared plus 5. Okay, we know that this is quadratic function uh, with a vertex form. Okay, so then we know that this is a uh, smile curve or parabola with minimum point because a is 1 1 is more than 0 okay so first of all we are going to draw the uh, axis okay so y axis uh, sorry ver vertical axis and horizontal axis this is t this is s okay so this is smile when t equals to 0 s equals to 9 so like this okay so the minimum point this one okay when t equals to 2 s equals to 5 this one 9 and when t equals to 6 s equals to 21 this one 6 this one okay wait mm, 21 this one s okay Okay, next question C. Calculate the total distance in meter traveled by the particle in the first 6 seconds. Okay, so actually we can find the total distance from the graph itself. Okay, so the total distance. Okay, we are going to find the total distance one by one. Okay, so this one uh, from... This here to here, okay, 9 to 5 is 4 meter. Okay, then from 21 to 5 is um, 16 meter. Okay, so therefore the total distance is uh, 4 plus 16. Okay, equals to 20. Meter. 